What do you think would surprise international applicants to US MS or PhD programs? We work um, with a lot of international applicants. Mm -hmm. Uh, what surprised me was the level of standardization, as I mentioned before. I, uh, in, in, in Belgium and in the Netherlands, things are, are, are much more haphazard, at, uh, at, especially at the PhD level. And um, when I did my first master's in Belgium, there was, it, it flowed directly from, from the bachelor. So there was no cut in between and no application process. So the, the level of standardization was something that surprised me. I hadn't done standardized testing in I don't know how long. So that was, uh, uh, yeah, had to get used to it again. And uh, I have my own ideas about that, but it's, it's, it's one of the things that are part of it. So you, you got to practice for it and, and do your best and, and, uh, and, and uh, rise to the occasion of it. And uh, then I, I was also surprised to, um, to see the difference between the schools then um, even though they all offer, I was looking for a master's in structural engineering at the time, mm -hmm. and I was interested in concrete structures, but of course, every university has its own special sauce because they have their, their own research that they do. So I was um, coming from a small country that where there's just, we didn't even have a concrete professor at the University of Brussels. He was from another university. So just seeing that there is so many people working on the topic in a, a large country like the United States was for me a big surprise. <laughs>